All right, um, we're going to go through uh, some more problems, okay? And what we have right here is going to try to approximate the length of a marsh. A uh, surveyor walks 425 feet from point A to point B, then the surveyor turns 65 degrees and walks 300 meters to uh, point C and approximate the length of uh, AC for the marsh. Okay, so if you have this right here, um, they see, see the figure here, but if you didn't have that, how would you write this out? So uh, approximate the length of marsh, a surveyor walks on, from point A to point B. So if you just wanted to start like so, and you go from point A, and you're walking to point B, you don't know where this point B is, and you don't know what angle it is, so you're just walking, walking. Yes, indeed, I'm talking. Maybe you and me. I, sorry, I digress. All right, but you have 425 meters is from A to B. And then it says um, at then the survey turns 65 degrees, 65 degrees. Okay, and so what does that mean? Um, well, if you turn 65 degrees and walks 300 meters to point C, Okay, point C. So we really don't know where the marsh is or what's going on. So um, essentially he just is walking and then he's gonna be turning 65 degrees. And so I guess it could be in either direction, it doesn't really say. So I'll just say I'm going down, all right, from here, 65 degrees. Okay, so this is gonna be 65 degrees. Okay, so just so you know that, it doesn't matter which way you go. Um, if we weren't given a diagram, that's how we would figure it out. So then he walks um, another, all right, 300 meters. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit shorter. Okay, a little bit shorter. All right, like that to point C. And it says approximately the length from A to C of this marsh. So we're going to assume this marsh right here is this is the length of the marsh. And I don't know what this is, but we'll just say that this is. All right, so if he's walking on one side and here is the marsh, it goes like this. And then right there, and he goes to the other point of the marsh, and there is the marsh, and it's in red. All right, yeah, I don't know why it's red, but it is anyway. So we want to figure out what is this length right here, okay? Um, I'm going to put in some other information, so he walks 300 meters right there. So you can see it's very, very similar to this. So if you created your own diagram, um, we want to figure out this length. Well, looking at this length right here, you can see that we have a side, all right? You have another angle, all right? Because we can actually find this angle right here, okay? That angle right there. Because since this is a linear pair from geometry, if you remember that, all right, we know that this angle theta that I just created right there is actually going to equal um, 180 minus 65 degrees, and that is going to equal um, 105. Or so, yep, yep, yep. Um, it's going to equal 115. Sorry, 115 degrees right there. Okay, 115 degrees. Okay, so if this angle theta that we just found out, which is also going to be B of the triangle, so I guess we could say that's the measure of angle B, okay, um, we now have this 115 degrees, which is obtuse. We have this side and this side. So what will we use to figure out this side over here? Well, this would definitely be something we consider like the law of cosines, okay, the law of cosines of cosines. Since we're trying to figure out a side, given a side angle side, all right, side angle side, um, and we'll just finish it off, we're going to use the law of cosines. And how will we set that up? Well, since we're trying to find B, I'll just put B here, we'll call this C, we'll call this A. We know that um, B squared is going to equal C squared plus A squared minus 2ca, and if you want to put these in another word, you can, times the cosine of angle b. So we'll plug those values in. We know that b is going to equal the square root of 425 squared plus um, 300 squared minus 2 times 425 times 300. All right, times now this cosine of 115 degrees. Let me put that all under there. And that is what we know. And so we can put this in our calculator. So if you want to do that, um, we can find this side, angle C, or the length of, in this case, AC. All right, what we're looking for is that is going to be approximately about 
615.1, if you round to tenths, meters. And that, my friends, is how you can use all of cosines for yourself. Um, once again, I set up the drawing. You can look at the figure that sometimes they provide in books, um, like this right here. However, if you're not given information, you just want to do this. A lot of students sometimes get really confused on which way do they turn. Which way. It doesn't matter which way what they turn. Um, just make sure that it, they turn from the linear, okay, from as they would keep on walking out. And that's just the key thing there. All right. Well, I hope this helps you out. Um, another good application of log cosines, and we're going to do some more applications in the coming videos.